2020 Top Innovations From a rapid molecular test for COVID-19 to tools that can characterize the antibodies produced in the plasma of patients recovering from the disease, this year's winners reflect the research community's shared focus in a challenging year. We know the old saw, necessity is the mother of invention. Well, 2020 has shown us that a global pandemic is one serious mother. Typically, our top innovations competition focuses on laboratory technologies, tools designed to plumb the mysteries of basic biology. But as biologists turned their sights to understanding SARS-CoV-2, the innovation landscape changed accordingly, with new tools developed and existing technologies bent to address the pandemic. Number 1 in late March, biotech firm Absalera hosted a call with 40 researchers to review the data they'd collected on potential antibodies against SARS-CoV-2. Using Absalera's high-throughput microfluidics and single-cell analysis tools to probe samples of COVID-19 patients, the company's team had deciphered the genetic sequences encoding hundreds of antibodies that might treat the disease. Sifting through all of that data by hand was tedious, though, so the team fed it into Celium, a data visualization tool that intersects more than a million high-quality data points for those antibodies to reveal which ones might work best in patients as a potential therapy. In real time, on the call, the researchers used Celium to probe those relationships and home in on the Likoff 555 antibody that, months later, entered clinical trials as a possible COVID-19 treatment, says Maya Smith, lead of data visualization at Absalera and creator of Celium. I think that kind of says it all. Before Celium came on the market in 2017, scientists working with Absalera to find antibodies would get back complex spreadsheets of data that were difficult to navigate, and it was hard to know where to start, Smith says. Using Celium, data are presented in a visual format and the tool helps you identify the right molecule for your needs, Fernando Cura, a protein engineer at Kodiak Sciences in Palo Alto, California tells the scientist. He's partnered with Absilera to identify antibodies to treat retinal diseases, and says the company's package of microfluidics, single-cell analysis, and data visualization tool streamlines the process of antibody discovery in a user-friendly manner. Number 2 Since 2014, Abbott's ID Now system has helped physicians detect influenzas A and B, strep A, respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, and most recently SARS-CoV-2, in less than 15 minutes. The toaster-sized device works by heating nasal samples in an acidic solution that cracks open the envelope of the viruses, exposing their RNA, which ID now amplifies at a constant temperature instead of the heating and cooling cycles that PCR machines use. Gaining emergency authorization from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in late March, the COVID-19 ID now test was one of the first tests accessible to the U.S. public. Norman Moore, Abbott's Director of Scientific Affairs for Infectious Diseases, says the test's short turnaround time is critical to stopping viral spread. You're the most infectious early on, and if we don't have that result in that timely fashion, what does it help if a molecular test comes back two weeks later? He tells the scientist. With more than 23,000 ID now devices in use in the U.S., mainly in urgent care clinics and pharmacies, Moore says his team is developing tests compatible with the platform for other infectious diseases, such as sexually transmitted infections. J.D. Zipkin, chief medical officer of Go Health Urgent Care, which partnered with San Francisco International Airport to administer the ID now COVID-19 test to travelers, calls the test a game changer. Abbott took a platform that's already really good at detecting very specific disease states and applied it to the biggest pandemic need that we have in this country, he says. The ID Now platform costs $4,500 and each COVID-19 test costs $40. 
Crookshank Quinn, the ability to receive COVID-19 test results from a throat or nasal swab in under 15 minutes can provide hospitals, schools, or any other institution with the ability to quickly test persons to determine those who would need to self-isolate at home. Since it is lightweight and portable it can be used in the field and at mobile sites like drive through testing locations. Number 3. In 2017, researchers from the New York Genome Center published a new approach called SiteSec that allows scientists to assess proteins in individual cells at the same time they are doing single-cell transcriptomics. SiteSec works by linking antibodies with oligonucleotides that can eventually be sequenced to reveal whether target proteins were present and joined to their corresponding antibodies. Life science company BioLegend licensed SiteSec and developed the Total Sectum C Human Universal Cocktail V1.0, a collection of 130 oligo-linked antibodies for massive screening of the cell surface proteins of individual cells, for use on a single cell sequencing platform from 10x genomics. In contrast to proteomics approaches based on visual assessment of tagged proteins, there's no theoretical limit anymore as to how many proteins you can screen for, says BioLegend's head of proteogenomics Christopher Kitnazer, adding that the company is already working to expand the number of antibodies included in the cocktail. That increases the opportunity for unbiased discovery massively. It's groundbreaking in many ways, says immunologist and genomicist Alexandra Chloe Villani of Massachusetts General Hospital. Harvard Medical School, and the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard University. Like many researchers, Villani, who is one of the coordinators of the immune cell segment of the Human Cell Atlas, pivoted this year to studying COVID-19. She has already used BioLegend's cocktail, launched in early August at a price of $5,350 for five single-use vials, to analyze blood samples from nearly 300 patients who tested positive for SARS-CoV-2. When you have surface protein and RNA in the same cell, it really helps us to derive a more granular definition of the immune cells involved in response to infection, says Villani. I actually know a lot of colleagues across the United States and Europe that have used this same panel to analyze their COVID cohorts which means we'll be able to combine all of our data and compare. And that's incredible.